How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Signature Solar 18K PV Hybrid Inverter. It retails for over $5,000 and I paid my own money to buy this. A hybrid inverter can take energy from solar cells or your grid and put it into batteries. So you still need batteries to connect to this. And as his name says, 18K means it can do up to 18,000 watts. The current one I have in my electronics room, it's only 5,000 watts. So this is significantly more powerful. But today we're just gonna open up this $5,000 thing and see what comes with it. This looks like a guide for putting holes in the wall. There's a little loose screw right here. It looks like a Wi-Fi module here. Mounting brackets. There it is. There are current sensors for your main panel. Up to 300 amps, minimum 100 milliamps. It looks like the screw poked a hole in this baggie. They probably should use a much thicker bag for this. There's two network cables, a user manual. It seems like it's top heavy. There's a common theme that low frequency inverters last longer than high frequency inverters. This right here will be considered a high frequency inverter, but it does have a five year warranty. If you agree to pay another 10% of the cost, you can extend this warranty another five years for a total of 10 years. People have said that the high frequency inverter, some of the cheaper ones, like the one I have right now, it's not a super big brand name or anything. It only has a one or two year warranty. So whatever period of time they warrant it for, generally they set that period to a little bit over to how long they think the device is gonna last. Because if it doesn't, it means they're gonna get all these products shipped back to them and they have to fix them all. So when they have a warranty, they're pretty confident that it will last that long. With that in mind, I like to just take a look at the electronics inside. So I haven't seen many videos where it actually opens this thing up and just kind of examine the electronics inside. So let's do this. I didn't realize it uses three locks over here. This part had probably been shown before. There's a metal panel over the entire thing. Built-in bus bars inside. A communication module here. Grid goes in here, line one, line two. This is 240 volts. The load comes out of here. There's a generator input. Even built-in breakers. And also a bunch of PV inputs that can go here. You have all these knockouts to put in different wires like grid load, battery input, PV input, communication, generator. Take a look at these hinges. Super heavy duty. Very thick and strong. There's there's a bit of foam here that meets with this surface for sealing. This is the back of the hybrid inverter. And as it comes down on gravity, it holds it in place like this. There are these brackets that goes on the side. There's two of them, one on each side. There's a giant handle here for you to lift it. Can I lift this by myself? I can't lift this by myself unless I really try hard. There's a seal here because they don't want you to open it, but we're gonna open this up anyway. Some information on this hybrid inverter. We won't go into that. Four fans towards the bottom. They're not the largest fans I've seen. They're kind of about the size of normal PC fans. They can probably reduce the noise by making these a little bit bigger. On the other side, there's a giant handle too. There's a master on off switch, RSD stop button, and also a connector to connect the Wi-Fi module. Whoa. Take note of these two screw positions. When I pull this off, it appears some of the screws nicked these heat sinks. I don't think it's going to affect the performance too much, but this entire back is just heat sinks. There's no access to electronics anywhere. There's a metal block here, which probably house things that needs cooling as well. Then you have a whole bunch of wiring over here that just sits there. This is probably the biggest heat sink I have ever dealt with. It almost looks like they intend for you to open the back panel to clean the heat sinks once in a while. This will void your warranty. A lot to unpack here. The first thing I notice is this giant array of capacitors. On the other side, we saw these giant metal boxes. These wires is what's going into those boxes. This is the external PV switch. It can cut off three strings of PV. There's a giant main board with really big inductors. These are probably inductors inside that are potted so as to absorb the heat and get cooled down in that cooling chamber. And this PC board extends underneath this surface here. These capacitors are rated at 315 volts. They're going to have around 240 volts stored on them. 10% margin will be considered low. 20% is kind of standard. So if they built around 31% margin on these capacitors. The more margin that you have, you meaning you're not driving the capacitor all the way to the limits, the longer the capacitors would last. This whole thing 
thing is mounted vertically this way and all of these have a little bit of glue stuck in between so there's more mechanical stability the brand of the capacitor is Zhanghai. if you look at these relays it's also made in china made in china and what you have here is a conductive fabric so that when you seal the lid it's enclosed inside a faraday cage so it can shield a lot of the radio interference that would get into the circuitry there is a battery here which will eventually be needed to replace this is just any typical battery that will keep your memory there like your settings and stuff when the whole thing powers down it's a pretty big undertaking because i have to route all the solar wires from my yard into the garage i definitely think this needs to be set up in the garage next to the panel putting all the batteries in the garage insulating the garage so that it doesn't get too hot to protect the batteries a little bit so it doesn't see as large a temperature swing getting a new electrical panel so this thing would power most of the house so this is going to take me a while many people are interested in the nitty-gritty details on how to exactly do each step so if you guys are interested in that i can record some videos along the way but if you guys are interested in getting one of these for yourself check out my affiliate link down in the video description below thanks for watching this video until next time